Google has officially announced the upcoming release of the Pixel 8 family, scheduled for October 14th. However, Google's notorious habit of leaking its own products has led to an unprecedented sneak peek at the Google Pixel 8 Pro's design, courtesy of Google's Pixel Simulator. Speaking of performance, Google's Tensor G3 chip is on the horizon. It will use a 4 nanometer process, similar to what Samsung plans for the Exynos 2400 in the upcoming Galaxy S24 lineup. This means the Tensor G3 chip will provide a glimpse of what we can expect in terms of performance and efficiency from the Exynos 2400. To sum it up, that's our comprehensive overview of the Google Pixel 8 Pro. The blue color variant is particularly striking. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more updates. Now, let's take a look at the front design of the phone. Depending on the color you choose, the home screen wallpaper and theme will be color coordinated. In my opinion, the blue model stands out the most. The display is approximately 6.7 inches in size and boasts a sleek bezel ratio. Turning to the sides, the simulator reveals the presence of volume up and down buttons, as well as the power button. On the left-hand side, there's a SIM card tray. Up top, you'll find another microphone and the 5G antenna cover. At the bottom, there's the speaker, bottom microphone, and the USB-C port. Let's dive right into the design details of the Pixel 8 Pro. We have a comprehensive look at all three color options. Black, blue, and white. Google is set to maximize the potential of Samsung's ISOCELGN2 camera sensor. The Pixel 8 Pro will introduce night sight for video a significant enhancement for low-light video performance. We've witnessed the magic of night sight in photos, and now we can expect it to elevate video quality. For a closer look, we have some clean images showcasing the side profile of the Pixel 8 Pro. The aluminum sides match the color of the phone, providing a coordinated and premium look.